Hi guys, I get quite a few requests to do rubber band powered aeroplanes or ornithopters and the simple answer is there's plenty of videos on them already on YouTube as there is with everything else that I do and I don't know that I could do any better. I've seen a particularly good ornithopter by Uno Para Todo and I'm going to copy that. So this is not an original video by me. I'm copying one that's already been done. I'm not going to give you all the bits and pieces. I've sketched them down here, but you're going to have to go to this guy's original video to find out how to build it properly. The object of today's ep episode is just to see if I can make it from his video. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can make the ornithopter using the information from his video. We need some barbecue skewers. Uh, I'm going to use a wooden drink stirrer. Some paper clips. Some thin plastic tubes. I got them from the end of ball pens. You need a tin can or aluminium can. You'll need some two-part epoxy resin some contact adhesive, some rubber bands, uh, I'm going to use a plastic bin liner for the wings and then you'll need some knives, uh, cutters, and pens and things. So I'm going to speed the video up and see if I can make it. Summary time. We have an ornithopter, courtesy of Uno Para Todo, uh, who I will put a link to so you can see the proper build. His is much better than mine, um, so I'm not going to give you all the dimensions and that sort of thing. You'll have to look at his video to get that. But I am pleased. It works. Um, the only thing I will say is I've obviously used some very cheap glue because every time I've test flown it I've got one flight out of it and then one of the joints is broken and I've had to go and re-glue it. But that's nothing to do with his design, that's me using cheap glue. So um, I'm very pleased. My first ornithopter and it does actually work. <laughs> 